Hi everyone, my name is Kat, but a fairy librarian, and welcome back to a new reading vlog. Um, it is now Friday, so I'm starting the vlog, uh, and I'll just tell you what I'm currently reading. Um, first one that I'm not doing physically. Um, I'm listening to Divine Rivals by Rebecca Roth. Rebecca Roth? On audio. Um, but I'm just not like, I'm liking it. It's a good book, but I just have no desire to continue listening. And it's going to be due at the library somewhere this week. Uh, and it's going to return itself because it's a digital copy. And I just don't care enough to give it back, I think. So that'll probably be a deal now. Um, and I'm not really planning to continue listening to it until then. Because there's no way I'm going to finish it before that. It's a shame, but... You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not... It's not a bad book, I just am not really invested and it didn't really hook me, so that's one. Um, I'm also reading um, Shelter Mountain by Robin Carr, the second book in the Virgin River series, um, and I'm really loving that one. I just have a smile on my face every second I'm reading it. Um, it's so good. It does deal with heavier topics, but it still just feels really wholesome and feel good. Um, so I'm, I'm loving that. Um, physically, I am reading The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman, um, the first book in the Thursday Murder Club series. I'm also really enjoying this. The characters are so much fun. Um, like that's really what I'm reading this for, like the, the actual mystery is, is fine, but it's not, it, it's not what's hooking me here. Um, if, if it would just be like a straight up murder mystery, like not that this isn't, but it's like a cozy murder mystery, which is like a like detective story um and that would be the premise i wouldn't have picked it up um but just the characters make this so enjoyable and so fun and i love the characters in this um so yeah and it's and it's funny in times um like i'm not dying laughing like i heard of from some people but i i am really enjoying it and then the last thing that I am reading at this point is Everyone Knows Your Mother is a Witch by Rivka Galkin. Um, it's a historical fiction about a woman who's accused of being a witch. Um, and it's also not really hooking me. Like, when I'm reading it, I'm having a good time, but just continuing is hard. Um, like picking it back up, I have to force myself a little, I'll give it until like 20% because I'm, I'm 40% in, so I'll give it till 20 um, before I decide if I want to DNF it or not. Um, but it's not a bad book, I'm just not that hooked at this point. Um, so that's what I'm reading. I am now going to pack my bag for class, and when I'm done that, I'm going to read before class, like until class starts, but I'm not sure what I'm going to read, if I'm going to, I don't know what my phone just did, but it stopped recording for no reason, um, so I was saying that I'm either going to read some more of Everyone Is Your Mother Is a Witch, or maybe I'll start a comic and that is 
this one um, in Dutch is Paris de Mumra. The original French title is Le Paris des Merveilles. Um, so it translates as the Paris of Miracles. Something like that. Um, and I just noticed that it's only two albums in this story. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, I know that this is the only one that's out because it's a relatively new release. Um, which is also why there's no English version at this point. Um, but this seems fun. It's a historical fantasy with a murder mystery element. And I'm really excited. So I'm going to read one of these two. I'm not sure which one. Um, we'll decide once I've packed my bags. But I already wanted to start this vlog. So there we are. Welcome to the vlog. I'll talk to you when I have the update. Hi. It's the same day. It's just a little bit later. And I just finished my comic. Um, I'm a little disappointed in this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it just looked very fun and cute and like if you look at the back like you have this image which and and and, and the image on the back just doesn't give the right vibe for the book I feel and is quite misleading um, because it is incredibly fast-paced. Um, there is so much going on and I think that the pacing is too fast. Um, there is not enough time to develop the characters to yeah, I just didn't really know what was going on some of the time. Um, it was just... I wish it had more time to develop those things. Um, there were so many names as well, and I just couldn't tell them apart. Um, so that was really... Um, that made it a little hard to always get it, and I still after finishing this, I'm not quite sure what the plot of this was. Not because there was no plot, but because there was too much plot and there were so many things that I didn't really understand what we were doing and I felt it was underdeveloped. Like, I didn't get... We get some random world building facts that were really fun. Like we have this this winged cat. He's, he's great. I love him. I love his character. Um, and we get a piece of lore that like if those winged cats lie on like sleep on top of a text, they can read it, which is like really random. But like those fun details sort of bring a world to life. The thing is, we got those, and I liked those, but we didn't always get the more political background that we needed to understand the story, and I don't know if that's necessarily world building or just character building, like we don't know who is on which, like, on whose side people are on. Um, Yeah, it has some heist elements, um, some spy type thing, question mark, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, it was a very, very confusing read and I'm slightly disappointed in it. Um, like, I still enjoyed it. Like, the, the art style I really liked, and some of the plot was really fun, but the characters were underdeveloped. As I said, it was too fast, and didn't always get what was going on. Um, I do like where it left off. Um, 
and so I think that like the setup for the second album would be great but I think that they were trying to do too much in this book um and so it didn't fully work for me I I I'm not sure about my rating I'm gonna have to sleep on it but yeah I'm, I'm a little disappointed in this one I'm not gonna lie sad um that was my update um i'll talk to you again when i have more bye hi it's monday evening and i have some updates for you first of all i finished the thursday murder club by richard osman this was great i loved it um the mystery was a lot of fun like the actual case what I find interesting is that while this book does feel cozy and I would classify it as a cozy um, murder mystery, the case itself isn't that cozy. Like, um, we have some like rich dudes and shady business, um, some drugs involved. Like, that's not what I associate with cozy. Um, so it creates this very interesting contrast. Um, so yeah, I like that. Um, the who did it? I guessed Barnabas. Um, as in, I guessed Demoda, but not the who. Um, or like not necessarily like the actual motive, but just like this is going to have something to do with it. And that was the the thing um so that was nice um but most of my bookmark should go in there most of all i just i loved the characters in this um yeah but they are what made this so much fun um, we have some found family element going on, um, between members of the club. Um, also just their characterization was really, was really nice. Um, they really felt like elderly people, um, especially Joyce. She gets her own POV, um, in first person. And the way, like, she told the story really reminds me of my grandma telling me a story where like she's she's telling something and then there are these little insignificant details that she also needs to throw in there um like for example they were once in a conversation had to do with um the murder and, and trying to solve this case and like she's noting and commenting on like the amount of sugar cubes someone put in their coffee like stuff like that is just so it really reminded me of my grandma um so yeah one thing about this um that ties in with the sugar cubes there was a little bit of fat phobia i felt in this book um which i didn't love um so do be aware of that going into it but other than that i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this book i had a great time um give it five stars i'm gonna try to fit in the second book before the end of the year but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to because you know the time left in the year is um getting shorter and shorter and it's it's a little overbooked already um literally because it's books um so we'll see if that 
is possible. If not, then I'll continue the series next year. But I really like this. I really recommend this. It's great. Um, then I read some more of Shelter Mountain by Robin Carr. I'm a little over halfway now. Um, one thing, what, when I thought of the first book, I always remembered the romance. And reading the second book is just reminding me of um, just all the other stuff that was going on. And then in a negative way, I liked it, but it's just in my memory. Um, it was very much the romance that defined it. But then they're like mentioning characters and like, oh yeah, this thing also happened in the book. Oh yeah, that also happened. Um, so it's much more than, than just a mystery. There's like a lot of outside things going on. Um, we've met the male lead from the third book because I spoiled myself. Bleh, I spoiled myself. Um, by looking at the synopsis for um, the third book. Um, and we've met him, so um, I'm really excited to see his story. We first finished this one, um, but I'm really, really enjoying that. Then I started A Thousand Heartbeats by Kira Cass. Um, this is a YA romanticy standalone. Um, it's a dual POV. We have Annika, um, who I believe is one of the cover, but she is not blonde in the story. She has brown hair. Just a thing I've noticed. Um, <laughs> but uh, she is the princess of a kingdom. Um, and she has to marry for political reasons. And the person that she has to marry is just red flags everywhere. Um, and she doesn't want to marry uh, him. She, yeah, she, she doesn't want to be in the situation, but she doesn't really have a choice. And then our other POV character is Lennox who has read a very military um, life um, and he has to do a task to prove himself to the leader um, and so I assume that these two plot lines are going to intertwine and then there's going to be a romance between them. Um, so far, I'm really liking this. Um, I'm not that far into it. I'm like 50 pages into it. Like, look. But I'm already obsessed. <laughs> um, I don't want to put this down. I want to keep reading. Um, I'm really, really into it. Um, I'm happy because I was a little bit nervous because the last book I've read by Kira Cass was The Betrothed and I DNF that one because I thought it was boring. Um, so I hope that this is gonna not be that <laughs> um and i hope another hit um from kira cass i am however going to put this down for now however sad i am like not as in as in i'm pausing it and i want to read it for a while just for tonight i'm not going to continue reading this i'll continue this tomorrow or maybe right before bed but not right now because right now I'm gonna read some more of Everyone Knows Your Mother's Witch, which I'm not enjoying as much as the other two books. Um, and I'm not as hooked as with the other two books, but it's a buddy read and I am already a little bit behind, so I wanna catch up. Um, and it's not like I'm hating it, it just hasn't fully hooked me yet. Um, so I'll be reading some of this um, and I'll be back when I have a new update. Hi. Hi. It is Wednesday evening now. Um, 
I think I'm gonna be an F this. It's not a bad book. Um, definitely not. And I already mentioned earlier how I found the short chapters kind of choppy and jarring. Um, I did get more used to that, or it got better, or whatever. Um, and I think that is because it sort of became, I wouldn't quite call it mixed media, but we did get some, like, of, like a mixture of formats in which the story was being told, and then the shorter chapters worked a little better for me because, like, we had a letter, and the letter just usually doesn't go on for 30 pages um and then we've got like an interrogation which is also like limited in time and so it felt more natural to have these short chapters um because of that and so it didn't bother me as much and those other perspectives i did really enjoy um, so when there was an interrogation of someone, when there was a letter uh, from someone, I really like those part. It's just the main perspective, which is just Catherine telling her story. I'm not invested and I don't care. And I have to force myself to pick this book up. I have to force myself to keep reading. Um... So I'm just going to not do that and DNF it, um, which is a shame because it is a good book and if it sounds appealing to you, I still would recommend it. It just wasn't for me. Um, I don't know yet what I'm going to read in like what book I'm going to start. Um, next to take its place um, but you'll hear that in next week's vlog because we've reached the end of this video um, so I'll wrap up everything that I've read this week I finished the Thursday Murder Club which I really loved and gave it five stars it's great I also read this comic, um, like Paris of Miracles is the translation of the title, um, but I can't find an English translation, unfortunately. Um, have I don't know if I've told you this. I'm not sure. I think I have, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I wasn't the hugest fan of this but then later on i find out that it was a spin-off um so um which makes a lot of sense with how this was structured and what how i felt about this um so i'm gonna read the original series first and then i'm gonna reread this and then i'm gonna like properly rate it review it etc because i don't think i given this a fair shot if or i don't think i'm giving this a fair shot if i don't write the original series first because it really relies on knowledge from that first series so I'll do that um I DNF'd everyone knows your mother is a witch as I just told you I DNF to find rifles was it in this video yes that was um it returned itself to the library and I don't care enough to get it back so DNF that one. Um, I continued Shelter Mountain and I started A Thousand Heartbeats, which I'm really enjoying. Um, so yeah, it's really funny because we have three hits with them. Shelter Mountain as well because I'm also loving that one. And then these two. We have three misses, like these two, and then 
Divine Rivals as well. And I realize that this is not the most elegant way to show books, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, two DNFs in one week. That's not normal for me. I don't know if I'm just getting better at saying, like, I know I'm not gonna love this. And there's so many other books that I think I will love. So I'm just gonna not. <laughs> or if I'm starting to hit a little slump, maybe, potentially. I don't know. Um, but the, the things that I'm reading now, I am really enjoying. Um, so I'm going to hope that I'm not going to DNF. I'm going to have to DNF anything anytime soon. Um, so yeah, that was the vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon in another video. Bye.